Hey guys, Ryu here from Blender Bros and in this video I'm gonna show you an amazing trick with decals. Let's go! So I was playing with this device and I was trying to match the, uh, the screws, you see these screws here, to the surface of this model. Now technically it shouldn't be possible because this material is not a BSDF mat which means decal machine will not be able to automatically match it to the decal. So, uh, you know, when I'm going to grab the uh, decal machine and go through match, there's no way I can match this to uh, the surface, but somehow I managed to do that, which is quite interesting. And I was wondering how the hell it was possible. And I actually found out how it happened. So I'm going to show you how to do it and you can just match your decals to literally anything. Now, if you are into an add-on workflow, check our free terminal course, it's fantastic. We use the hard ops decal machine. There is rendering as well, post-processing. It's a fantastic mini course, it's free and the link is in the video description. So now uh, let's go here to a journal um, view and I'm gonna add it two cubes, right? And I'm gonna assign uh, a mod here, let's go to Shit, as you talk here, gonna be regular mat here, but here I'm going to assign a mat from Kitops pack. It's a cycles and EV material pack by Chip Walters. It's a fantastic pack. You guys should get it. And uh, these mats are brilliant. You know, when I'm gonna drop a decal here, there's no bloody way that I can match this mat to this decal through decal machine. Like if you see, when I'm going to land decal on a surface of a material, like this bright one, for instance, right? You can see that the decal automatically inherits the color and the matte properties of a specific surface. So when I'm going to drop it in here, boom, it's going to become blue, right? So now you can change the color of the inner part by going to D match and scrolling through, but you can see that I cannot find this um, yellow, yellow color and you can do the same thing with the outer part, so D and hold shift, and you can scroll through colors in a scene to match, you know, colors to of this landing plane. But again, you know, this yellow color is nowhere to be found, and it's just literally impossible. So there are two ways of doing it, okay, actually three. One of them is the old way, the way I used to be doing it through Instamat uh, add-on by Oliver, and he actually created a custom code that allows you to do that uh, and i have a video on that so if you want to uh, you know use that method just go ahead and watch it there is another way of doing it which is uh, also not very convenient because it takes time it's uh, basically manual matching of the mats so what you can do is go here to this kitops mat select everything Control c go to decal paste that thing here move it over here with g remove that rubbish and then you need to just basically connect it to uh, to this BSDF uh, manual, you can see that it's already starting to take an effect. Roughness to roughness and bump to bump. And remember that since this is a subset decal, you need to connect it to uh, both um, outputs here. So this one and this one, if you want to use that same mat in the middle. But you can see that now, clearly, this is literally the same material and looks really well matched. Now the problem is that it doesn't work with all the mats. If I'm, for example, gonna grab this mat here, which is really cool, it's like a really nice plastic, right? There's no way I can do that. This mat simply has a really interesting and kind of complicated sort of setup. I don't even know what the hell is going on in here. I hate notes, uh, but I couldn't, I couldn't, you know, plug it in. It's just no matter what I did, it didn't work. But I found a way around it that it's not perfect, but it's nearly perfect. Okay, it's good enough. So let me just delete that shit and uh, let me just um, add a cube here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this mat to BSDF mat first. So it's a regular BSDF mat, right? And my blender is gonna crush, so I'm gonna do it again. So now with this mat here, what we're gonna do is we're going to change it, okay? We're going to change it to a glass mat. So let's open uh, this panel here. Let's go to shader and what we're gonna do is we're going to increase the transmission, change the metallic uh, value, change the roughness to something really low, okay, and basically brighten it up. And now you got, you know, translucent glass, right? So what we're gonna do now is we're going to run this mod on this decal and watch what happens, right? So I'm going to collapse it. 
go to D, match D, hold shift and boom. And now you're running a glass mod on this decal, which actually goes through the decal and um, it looks as if it was basically matching the color. I mean, this is pretty awesome and uh, it's such an easy way of, you know, running decals on textures that will not allow you to do that. And you can, of course, do the same thing with the middle part. So D, match and just run, you know, um, run the decal machine um, adjust tool uh, through the decal and Bob's your uncle. This works really well with stuff like screws because what you can do is you can run a darker color on the inner part of the screw. So let's shift D that and I'm going to add a dark color here, BSDF dark color, right? Like that. I'm going to make it rougher. So oh, where's roughness here? rougher and dark okay and then what you're going to do is you're going to run a darker color on the outer part here but um the um you know this um, glass color in the in the middle and it looks as if this screw right had an ao here around so you can of course you know adjust this then you can rematch it here so d uh, match d and hold shift and you can rematch it to to this new color if you need more decals and trim sheets, we have that stuff for you. 460 decals and 12 trim sheets, superb quality. Trim sheets come textured and non-textured. You even have ID maps so you can bake your own trim sheets in Quicksilver Mixer or Substance Painter. And they're really high quality, they're fantastic. We use them in every project. And by getting the pack, you can save $200 on that pack. The link is in the video description. So that's it guys, this is a really neat trick. I thought I'm gonna share it with you because it's, I think it's brilliant. And you know, you can use any type of textures with decals for your renders and it's just gonna look fantastic. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.